Astronomers have found the most distant and one of the most powerful fast radio bursts or FRBs to date. It lies almost 8 billion light years away and in less than a thousandth of a second gave off more energy than the Sun does in 30 years. The source of fast radio bursts is still unknown. Almost all of them lie in galaxies outside of our own and are scattered in every direction of the sky. They may all be manifestations of the same type of object, such as a fast spinning neutron star, or they may be due to different types of object. Some FRBs have been seen to occur only once, lasting from a fraction of a second to three seconds. Others repeat in seemingly irregular ways. Only one at present is known to be periodic. It repeats every 16.3 seconds and lies in a spiral galaxy about 460 million light years away. Although the nature of FRBs is still poorly understood, it seems likely they involve sources that are a few hundred kilometers in size or less because the bursts typically last no more than a few milliseconds. Neutron stars, especially highly magnetized neutron stars known as magnetars, and black holes are among these suspects. The most remote FRB yet found, FRB 2022-0610A, was discovered last year by an array of radio dishes in Australia called ASCAP. Having pinpointed the position of the source, astronomers then used the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile to identify the source as lying within a small group of merging galaxies more than halfway across the universe. Finding new FRBs is important in efforts to explain their origin, but it also serves another purpose in helping measure how much missing matter there is throughout space. Current methods of estimating the mass of the universe give conflicting results, which poses a challenge to the standard model of cosmology. FRBs can be used to measure how much ionized gas there is between galaxies. By observing the bursts of radio waves we receive from them, we can get a good estimate of the amount of electrons and therefore of plasma that lies along the path of the burst, and which may be contributing to the missing matter. The further away a fast radio burst is, the more diffuse gas it reveals on its intergalactic journey. Astronomers will soon have the tools to detect even older and more distant bursts and pin down their source galaxies. The International Square Kilometre Array Observatory is currently building two radio telescopes in South Africa and Australia that will be capable of finding thousands of FRBs including very distant ones that can't be detected with current facilities. Meanwhile upon completion ESO's 39-meter extremely large telescope, which is under construction in the Atacama Desert in Chile, will be able to study the source galaxies of bursts even further away than the one just announced.